Criminal organizations in Mexico wanting to beef up their cache of weapons need not look any further than their country's own security forces. According to a new government report, nearly 13,000 weapons have been lost or stolen from Mexican law enforcement agencies in the last 10 years. It used to be that criminal groups in Mexico got most of their black market weapons from the United States. But as security along the U.S. border has improved, Mexico has become its own best supplier. Security analyst Gustavo Fondevila believes it's not just the cartels that are involved. The reality is that these are not lost weapons. Instead, the police traffic them, and then they are sold on the black market. I'm not saying that they control this illegal market, but they are an important part of it. The Mexican government said more than 2,000 guns disappeared in 2009, a record number in the country. According to Mexico's National Institute of Transparency, some 800 guns were either lost or stolen from local police stations in Mexico City. Officials point to widespread corruption among Mexican authorities. Journalist Jose Reveles believes the numbers could be even higher. If you consider that in Mexico there are 450,000 policemen, the percent of stolen arms is low. It could be more. Meanwhile, Mexico's legal import of guns increased by more than 330 percent between the period of 2010 and 2015. However, the proliferation of weapons from within Mexico indicates that not all illegal arms come from the U.S. In fact, there are reports that some cartels could even be manufacturing their own guns. The Mexican military has steadily increased arms purchases to fight the drug war raging in the country. Some fear this will provide criminal gangs even a bigger arsenal from which to steal, making the problem worse in the coming years. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Mexico City.